What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be looking at how we can securely erase a hard drive of all its data. Uh, if you're selling the computer or giving it away to a friend or something like that you may want to wipe that drive securely so they can't recover any data on there. Maybe you've got precious photos on there of your loved ones and children or maybe it's just the case that you've got all your uh, banking details been on there and stuff or just general all your surfing habits and stuff over the years you may want to just wipe that clean before you get rid of that drive now sometimes it's always best to take the drive out and keep that drive for yourself and then let them purchase a new drive themselves that way you can be 100% sure that it's not going to fall into the wrong hands uh, but there is software out there that you can use to wipe the drive and the list is endless. There really is so many different types of uh, uh, software out there that you can use. Okay, so I'm just going to pick this uh, one particular type of software. And uh, I know you guys are going to have all your other types. And if you want to list them in the comment section below, by all means do so. Now this method does work with hard drives, mechanical hard drives, uh, whether they're three and a half inch, two and a half inch. Also, it will work with uh, USB flash drives, uh, and solid state drives, hybrid drives. Uh, all these types of drives it will wipe okay securely so let's take a look at the software we're going to be using in this one it's a MyRay uh, software it's called HD Shredder it's uh, for free you can download it here now they do have a premium versions as well it, let me just go through these quickly for you before we continue if you look here they do other versions as you can see here, free of a, the free version has a minimum of six gigabytes per minute. But if you're working for a company or a business or something like that, and you do this on a regular basis, uh, you may want to um, choose something else. And you can see different security levels uh, and stuff like that for a bit more money. And also you can see here, the, the more speed you get, i.e. 60 gigabytes uh, per minute here, which is pretty hefty. So as you can see, uh, that's the options you've got there. But we're going to be just using the free version here just to show you how it works. Now before I do that, let me just quickly show you the uh, download section here. You have the executable part, which is the installation part, where you can create your own USB flash drive to boot from that to actually wipe the drive. Or you can download the ISO file. I'll show you the, uh, the way to create a... Uh, a flash drive here just to make sure that you understand how it all works I'm pretty sure most of you know how to do that so let me just quickly uh, install this software here so I'm just going to quickly go through and install this now again there's also a uh, scrubbing software which wipes and scrubs the drive from the actual desktop as well which you may want to do but personally it's always best to completely nuke the uh, drive itself um, so I'm going to finish this now we can see here we have our piece of software that's going to allow us to make our bootable media we're going to use the drive E let me just quickly have a look there okay so I can see now this is the drive E and we've got stuff on this drive and we want to remove all this stuff on that drive okay we're going to be using a USB flash drive here because um, it's just easier for me to show you so I'm just going to quickly make a bootable one here as well so we're going to make bootable E. click on that and it will start to write all the information to that USB flash drive it's that simple it will say not responding just let it do its job it's uh, just sending all those files across so just be patient okay so now it's asking us to do a task you can see here should the existing operating system loader MBR be replaced uh, you can either say yes or no to this as you can see here this increases compatibility so we're just going to say yes for this for now and uh, we're just going to quickly click OK now you can click no there if you don't want to it depends on which way you want to do it so we're just going to quickly exit out of this and then now boot to this um, USB flash drive that we've just created okay so we're going to reboot the system now to that USB flash drive and uh, use the tool to wipe the drive so let's uh, restart the system. So I'm going to quickly restart here. So I'm going to boot in here. Okay, so once we've uh, booted up to our CD, this is what you're going to get here. Just going to close this off. And now we need to detect our drives. So you can see here we have our two drives. I'm going to be just wiping 
this USB flash drive just for quickness just to show you uh, but if you was going to wipe your C drive it would also do that or you can wipe the whole drive depending on whatever one you want to do so just wipe the whole drive here uh, we're going to use this uh, USB flash drive for an example and uh, what we're going to do next is go down to the bottom here and click on next okay so here we have the uh, deletion method here we can choose a deletion method now you're pretty limited with the free version the standards here as you can see you can pick different standards you can't use any of these on the free version so if you wanted to do this free pass dod version you won't be able to do that as you can see here you'd need the standard edition to do that and also the user defined you'd have to have the professional version if you wanted to define uh, the passes that you're making here on that drive so automatic you would get one pass three passes and seven passes I think we could do the free pass here so we'll try this one and uh, so we're gonna have three passes done to that and also in automatic mode click next and as you can see here we've got some other options and we'll just let that run and then click start so it's going to tell us now that the uh, content on this medium will be deleted completely you can either abort or you can start so we're going to start this and it will just start to wipe and erase everything on that drive so it's going to do three passes here you can see we have one of three passes and you can see the speed so you just let that run so as you can see just on this small little USB flash drive this four gigabyte flash drive it does take a fair bit of time um, so we're just going to let that run and I'll come back when it's been completed and as you can see that's now coming to an end and as you can see here it says the medium has now been deleted completely and uh, if you look here it will give you some information and we did uh, a medium free pass three of three passes deleted sectors and it deleted this many sectors and so on and now we can quit shred, uh, HD shredder and go back uh, to the desktop and install Windows if you wiped a, a drive for Windows or whatever you wanted to do or just give that computer away uh, if you wanted to and that's just using the HD Shredder 4 free version so let's take a look at uh, disk management we'll take a look at the drive that we just wiped As you can see here the drive is here it's a 4 gig raw drive so what we're going to do here is format this you can leave it FAT32 if you wish and you can call it whatever you like and that's just going to quickly format that drive and we can now look at that drive as you can see here now we've got the drive here and the drive has been completely wiped and empty and that's how you can quickly erase or shred any type of information on the drive so no one can recover that data back okay so I hope this one helps you out guys my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit that like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos if you want to see more of this type of videos or any got any other video requests, you can always head over to the forums. The information is on the screen right now. Or any problems with your computers or anything like that, head over to the forums, join the community and post up on there. And uh, I'll do my best to make those videos for you. And if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, then head over to there and give us a little like up over there. It doesn't cost you a thing. So thanks again. Bye for now.